YouTubers, welcome. Cheers to you. This is Daisy. If you're new to my channel, I actually do reviews on different bourbons, um, scotches, and of course any spirit that I come across that I think it might be intriguing to uh, try. That being said, um, I do want to say thank you to my hubby for buying me this delicious Balvini Caribbean cast 14 years from my birthday recently. As you can see, I already have drank some. And I can tell you guys, it is spectacular. But I'm gonna go ahead and review it with you guys um, and see what your take is on it. So let's go ahead and get into the notes, the nose, and of course, um, I always like to start off with the bottle. So Balvini, um, nice, simple shape, very clean, cork top. I love that the label is a pretty light paper um, bag, brown bag color, I would say, yeah. Um, just a nice classic, like a Scottish style um, label. I do like that they actually incorporate a lot of the information about the actual um, spirit inside in the front. So it's really pulling you to read and to actually um, take it into place that um, they put a lot of emphasis into making this bourbon. Or I'm sorry, the scotch. So, Caribbean cast, extra matured in rum caps. You know it's gonna be delicious because I think anything that's aged in any kind of barrel, it just gets such a nice flavor. Um, you take in all those um, old flavors and incorporate into something new, and it just creates for a beautiful product. Let's see. So according to this, we're gonna smell on the nose: rich, sweet, creamy toffee with fresh fruit notes. Okay, that's what it says. That's what we're supposed to. Um, Smell when we taste it, it says uh, taste round with vanilla, sweet oat, and fruitness. And then the finish is supposed to be warm, soft, and lingering. All right, so let's see if that's what we get. All right, um, the master distiller for this um, it says David Stewart. Well, David, thank you. We appreciate your good work, and uh, I can't wait to uh, give it a try with uh, everyone that's watching here. Okay, so. Mm. Okay. Oh, I almost forgot the color, guys. Sorry. Okay, so very light, just a uh, honey, simple, really bright color. It's not very dark at all. Okay. It's just very shiny blonde, I think. All right, so now that we got that out of the way. Wow, guys, this smells really good. I smell toffee, butter, vanilla, of course. Raisins. I smell raisins. I don't know if that's from being aged in the um, rum cast, but it smells absolutely delicious. So let's see what it tastes like. Mm. Wow. Very nice. You know, it does have a little bit of a light smokiness to it as it coats my tongue lightly, it just lays so beautifully, you know, it's very smooth. I do get that, the flavors are not intense, they're actually enjoyable. They um, touch every single note of my tongue, that's fantastic. I can honestly say this is by far my favorite scotch right now, for sure, okay? Oh man, David, you did such a good job. Good job. Um, I taste, Give it another try, okay? You know, fruit stones. I taste that. Buttery, creamy. Um, it does have that little bit of smokiness, in my opinion. Uh, maybe from the peatiness, I'm not sure, but I mean, it's not that it tastes like peatiness. It just has a little smokiness to it, that's all. Just very light. So I, I love that. That's what I like about this particular scotch. A lot of people don't like scotch because it's 
the pee comes out so strong and the smokiness and like oh my god it feels like I'm drinking a cigar or something but this is nice this is um, has a sweetness to it that kind of complements the smokiness so it's pretty darn good um, definitely a toffee in there it's just your traditional good delicious um, bourbon flavors but I even though I know it's a scotch you can taste the peatiness to it the smokiness to it it just blends beautifully I love that it doesn't linger it's a smooth you know covers my whole palette kind of a and uh, yeah you know what you guys are gonna really like this one but I'm not gonna lie to you it's not cheap this is why I wait until my birthday to get it $75 I think my husband paid for this 75 guys and he got the 750 mil okay so it's not like oh my god like $200 but it is high um, this is not something I'll break out just for anybody okay you got to be somebody for me to break this out for me to share with you or maybe I'll just have it whenever I feel like having a day you know to enjoy something delicious but um definitely not a mixing um, product do not mix this please do not mix this um, if you need to mix something pick something cheap guys I mean don't waste good scotch on mixing it that's just sad okay you're um, basically insulting the master distiller at this point and my okay it's just not something you would do I mean if you want to hey it's your money whatever but so sad so sad that being said cheers until the next one